at this. Zero through ten. How stupid do I look? Stupid. <laughs> Pretty stupid. So, as you can see, I'm wearing a chest strap, a polar chest strap. I'm wearing a Garmin watch. I am wearing a Whoop strap 3.0. The purpose of this video is to figure out which device you should purchase for yourself and your own personal goals and which one is more accurate. So we're gonna go over the apps, we're gonna talk about how functional it is, what it shows you, the data, um, the price points, and we're just gonna figure out which one you should buy because they're all roughly different prices, but obviously some are gonna be more functional for certain types of activities. So I've used the chest strap before, I used the Whoop before, I'm very new to the Garmin watch, so we're gonna figure out which one is better. I'm gonna do a 45 minute Stairmaster workout wearing all three of these stupid things. Thankfully I'm gonna have a hoodie on so nobody can see what's going on, but we're gonna figure out the calories burned in 45 minutes, which one is higher, which one's lower, if they're all roughly the same. But we're gonna do one workout, collect the data, and then talk about all three gadgets. What are you wearing? Do I look stupid? Are your pants inside out? <sighs> Whoop strap. Mm, He's mm. wearing just leather. Garmin. Ooh, ooh. Polar. Uh, which one do you think is going to be more accurate? Which one do you think is going to say that burns the most calories? The polar. Polar? Heart strap? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Take a guess right meow. So, I'll see you guys in about an hour. I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you later, girl. I'm not gonna see you until tomorrow. Me, you, snuggle, Netflix and chill. When? Every day, all day. Okay. Love you. Love you, bye. Let's go, take a guess. I thought that And let's get to, get to stepping. All right, I don't know if you could see, oh, 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 there we go. All right, 49 minutes, 50 minutes, boom, pause that. See my heart rate, it was at 91. I literally just came back from the gym. Look at this fresh sweat on my forehead. So I figured it would make more sense if I just give you real life, like live results. So without me messing around with the data, pretending like something it's not, let me just save this. Oh, I just need to derobe. So when I do cardio, I like to get my thermal, just like get the heat up, right? So a t-shirt, a hoodie, you put the hood up, you bungee it tight to your head. My nipples are gonna be chafed, my wrists are gonna be chafed, and my are gonna be chafed. If you know what I mean? Okay. Um, Let's just talk about it. Let's just dive into this. I'm gonna post some like numbers on the screen, price points, pictures, yada, yada, yada. So I did 50 minutes, right? Felt like an idiot wearing a wrist strap, wrist strap, chest strap. I was in sweatpants, a hoodie. I stair mastered for 50 minutes. It was like 3,000 steps or something like that. It was a lot. Sweating my butt off. So all these things have apps, right? We have the Garmin watch. We got the Whoop strap and then we got the Polar chest strap. All these things come with an app that allows you to track your fitness, and you can put your profile, you can put your age, your height, your weight, yada, yada, yada. This is how calories are tracked. It's literally just your heart rate max, which is determined by 220 minus your age, that's your heart rate max. Um, it takes your heart rate average over time. So if like you're having a low intensity workout and it's only like 80 beats per minute and you're working out for an hour, calories are gonna be really little. But if you're working out for an hour and you're like 90% of your heart rate max, you're gonna be burning lots of calories. So that's how it all works. So it just comes down to which one is more accurate about reading your heart rate, but also the functionality, is that a word? How functional or how, how fitting is are these gadgets to your lifestyle and what you train personally because it definitely varies depending on what you're training. So let's just blast through this. We're gonna go with Garmin Watch first. All these have apps. So Garmin Connect in that little corner right there. That's the Garmin uh, app. Like I said, you put your whole profile in there and then when you're done with the workout, it looks like that. 
50 minutes. Now I'm gonna screenshot this, hopefully put it on the screen as I chit chat about it. 50 minutes, average heart rate 132, max heart rate 158, and it's telling me that I burned, if you go to the next window, which you can check out your heart rate, your paces and all that, it's telling me I burned 639 calories in that 50 minute window. Honestly, not bad, that's a lot of calories, right? Especially for someone like me who works out multiple times a day. So that's the Garmin watch. We're just gonna roll through to the next thing and then we're gonna talk about functionality and all that stuff. Whoop, strap, same thing. Whoop, strap, boom, click that. Uh, now the whoop strap goes off a strenuous activity, so it's like a zero through 20, how strenuous was that workout? It's telling me mine was a nine. So I click on that. Boom. Hopefully I screenshot that. Now, average heart rate, 123, max heart rate 160, so pretty close, that max heart rate is pretty close, but the calories drastically lower. 352 calories versus that 639, humongous difference, I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but that is the whoop strap. Now, the polar chest strap, same thing, comes with an app, comes with an app, Polar Beats, and comes up this screen right here, 50 minutes, uh, blah, 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 blah. average heart rate 131, max heart rate 158, total calories burned 608. So right away, red flag comes up for the Whoop because it's saying 300 something calories, where the Garmin and the Polar are in the 600 range. So something fishy is happening there. I don't know if it was a malfunction or what, or if I ha because I haven't worn my whoop strap in a while, if it was totally adjusted to me, but that's a huge red flag. Especially when it comes to performance, fueling your body the correct way, you want a good consistency, because if that thing's off by 300 calories and I eat 300 calories less, then I'm not gonna recover as well as I would if it says I burned 650 calories, right? Uh, I'm gonna be deeper in that deficit, and if I don't wanna be in a deficit, that's gonna hinder my performance. So. Let's talk about the apps. The apps are all pretty freaking the same. It's like no big deal. You download the app, they're all free. Um, age, height, weight, your goals. They all have exercises that you can plug into the apps. They're really easy to use. It's basically all the same. There's no difference there. Now when it comes down to, I would say functional, how it feels on your hand, your wrist, your chest, the whoop strap wins in my opinion because it's so small, it's so thin, it's so low profile, and the strap is really, really nice that you barely know that's on your wrist. The only reason you know a Garmin is on your wrist is because it's heavy, it's a little bit, it's weight, I mean, maybe three times heavier because that, of the screen. Uh, and the only reason you know it's really on there because of the weight and the bulkiness, but also the Whoop does not have a screen, so you're never really looking at your wrist for any reason. So the Garmin is a little bit more bulky, kind of, it's not that big of a deal, but, uh, and obviously we're talking about apples and oranges because you got a, something that's a little more tech savvy with a screen and something that's like bare minimum, kind of like a Fitbit, it's got nothing for, not, nothing going on. It, even, it doesn't even tell you the time. So uh, then the, the chest strap, just throw this thing in the trash. I don't, for what we just saw for results, there's no reason that you should be wearing one of these unless like you're a professional athlete and you're really trying to like not like dial in your performance because this thing is so annoying to wear. It rubs up on your nipples and it gives you nipple chafing. And especially if you're running, it's just flapping. Worst case scenario, you're running and it flips like this and the sensor's not on there, bad. And it, it like, it doesn't, ah, just ladies, I feel your pain. Like wearing a sports bra, no good, so um, definitely the winner for comfortability, if that's a word, whoop strap. Second, Garmin, next, Polar. Obviously I don't have an Apple Watch or a Fitbit with me, but something that's light, it, not in the way, was, is definitely something that I would go for. Now, let's talk about what they all kind of provide for information and the price point. So I'll put the price point up between all three of these. All right, whoop, Garmin, Polar. And I'll even put up a polar uh, wrist 
watch that's similar to this. So that, that's the price difference, right? Obviously price is gonna pay, play a factor in what you can afford, right? But there are garments and other wristwatches like this that like are super high end and s ridiculously overpriced. This thing is like 160 bucks and it does everything that you freaking need. So don't think like I have this problem. <laughs> I always want the best of the best and I don't, wanna, I don't want the cheapest thing because I don't know why, but that's just something that happens with me. But literally I went with the cheap route and like this does everything that I needed to do. Now, this doesn't have a subscription, the Polar doesn't have a subscription, but the Whoop Strap has a monthly subscription, which you guys murdered me about in the comment section on the previous Whoop Strap review. Now, let me explain this subscription for you. First six months is free subscription as long as you pay for the strap. After that, it's a monthly subscription. The point of the subscription is that this provides so much more information than a Garmin watch or a chest strap unless you're wearing those things 24 seven. You get to wear a whoop strap 24 seven, 365, you never take it off. And that's because they have this genius battery charging thing. It goes on there, okay, right, it goes on there. Like middle of the day, I'm like, oh, my whoop strap's dead. Slide it on, it's charging, take it off, boom. I never take it off. That gives you 24 seven data. When I'm wearing my Garmin, I go run, I put it on, I stop running, I take it off. I go to the gym, I put it on, stop working out, I take it off. There's no other reason to wear this thing because why would I wear it 24 seven if it's not gonna give me 24 seven data. This battery doesn't last that long and you have to plug it in to charge it. Uh, the Polar chest strap comes with a little tiny disc battery and it doesn't tell you when it's gonna die even through the app and you kinda just like, I guess I'll figure out when it dies. So, um, Battery life, whoop strap. And also, well, I was talking about the subscription. The subscription is really awesome for functional fitness enthusiasts and people that go to a CrossFit style gym because you build a community platform through the app. So say like there's 300 members at your gym and everyone's doing the same workouts. Every single day you get to comment and like people's performance through that leaderboard that you created online and you create a community. So if you're not in that situation, I understand that the subscription is less appealing, but that's kind of what they're based around. That's how I found about Whoop is through CrossFit. So um, the only thing I would say about the subscription is that the sleep performance, the recovery performance information is huge. For someone that, for someone that is, um, an athlete or really trying to dial in their performance or you're trying to like run a marathon or triathlon or something like that, you, you want that sleep data, you want that performance data 24 seven so that you know exactly how many days a week you're training, what you're burning through the week, yada, yada, yada. With the Garmin watch, it's not really gonna tell me that information. Now, that's the subscription base. Enough about that, I'm sure you guys are gonna drop down comments and still destroy me. So. Um, the Garmin watch, I mean, sorry, sorry, the Polar, I don't know if they have a subscription plan, I don't think they do, but um, comfortability, whoop strap, um, the cheapest, Garmin, uh, no subscription, downfall, whoop strap has a subscription, battery life, meh, battery life for the whoop, amazing, unlimited, basically. Um, next, let's talk about the style of training that you're gonna do is really gonna determine which one you're gonna pick from all three of these. If you're a runner, if you're an endurance person, if you're hiking, if you're doing more just cardio-based things where weightlifting isn't going to get in the way, Garmin watch. The best thing about the Garmin watch and why I started getting it is because if I'm wearing this whoop strap, which has no screen on it, I have to take my phone out of my pocket. I gotta unlock the screen. I gotta pull up the app. Then I can look at where my heart rate is right? Too many steps, especially when you're running, you gotta take the stupid thing out of your pocket, the zipper, then you're slowing down, it messes everything up, you're tripping, you're falling. The Garmin watch, you put it on your wrist, you just do this quick little flick of the wrist, the light turns on, it tells you what your running pace is, it tells you your heart rate and how far you have ran so far. You can also obviously tap it into headphones and it could be like, you have ran two miles, but I, I hate that. That is super annoying to me, especially when you're jamming out to a song and then it's like, you're burning fat. Like, sh shut up, I know I'm burning fat. So uh, Garmin watch wins with 
display and running pacing and things like that. So if you're a runner, endurance person, hiker, get the Garmin watch because that's really what it's kind of focused towards. You can use this for weightlifting and if you're just doing bodybuilding at the gym, the problem becomes when you're doing cable stuff, right? So if you're having that cable and you're doing cable flies with this wrist strap over you, that cable, when you come across, it scrapes the, uh, it scrapes the screen hits the screen. So every time I try to do certain machines, I have to flip it onto my wrist. Not that big of a deal, but this thing is so thin and so small, it doesn't get in the way with anything. So if you're a power lifter, if you're an Olympic weightlifter, uh, if you're doing front squats, like this bar, if you're holding the bar, this whoop strap doesn't get in the way, it's not gonna bang into anything. Uh, and if, even if it does, there's no screen on there to get damaged. So low profile, functional fitness, boot camp kind of stuff, I would say um, whoop strap or Fitbit because it's small, low profile. Um, I don't even, I, don't, I haven't even brought up the stupid chest strap. I think we can all just, just, unless you're an athlete of like getting paid, really trying to dial in your performance, chest strap, and it doesn't have to be polar, it could be any kind of chest strap, right? So uh, yeah, that's what it really comes down to. Functional fitness versus just running and bodybuilding. Functional fitness, running, bodybuilding, especially running because I can't I tell you enough like how awesome it is just to click the button and tell you uh, what your running pace is. Also, with the Garmin, you can click this button. <whistles> Sorry, focus. And see how it says running, so there's a stand up paddleboard in there. Wait, running, stand up paddleboard, strength, right? I can click strength, right? And then it says ready and I click it, set one, right? And then what I can do, is click it again, and be like, boom, that was my first set, right? Then I click it again, second set, right? Do my sets, next set, and it'll track how much volume of training I've done. So that is pretty cool. So I think that really covers it all. Accuracy for calories, the Garmin wrist strap, and the Polar chest strap were really accurate in that 600 range. Like I said, the problem becomes when something is so freaking way off by 300 calories. Let's just take this for example. Even if this was 100 calories off, right? And I train seven days a week. That's 700 calories unaccounted for, and that's gonna play a factor into my weekly calories burned, which is gonna affect my weight loss, or if I'm trying to gain weight, I'm just gonna be like, why am I not gaining weight? It's gonna affect how many calories you need to eat to perform at a certain level. Like, that's a lot of calories. Now, if it's 300 calories off, Three times seven is 2,100 calories. That is absurd. Like I said, that's the first time this has happened. So I don't know if it's because it's not adjusted to me, but that's a big deal. So uh, the only way that you're gonna find out your calories by your heart rate is just getting your average heart rate times it by that time, right? That's like, because there's no baseline, right, with these products. There's no baseline calculation unless you're going to a sports performance facility where they hook you up to an oxygen mask and you got freaking buttons all over and you're running on a treadmill. You're not gonna know how many calories you're gonna burn in an hour exactly. These are all kind of gadgets to assist you along your way. So that's it, 16 minute video. I think I've done my job. So if you're gonna buy something for running, get yourself a Garmin watch. Doesn't matter what Garmin watch you you choose, they all have different functions. Some uh, can attach to music, some can, uh, I think, attach to your phone, and there's all, if you basically go on Garmin.com, it tells you the Dropbox window, like which watches do what. There are ones that are really expensive, but like I said, this $130 one, or $150 one, does everything that you need to do. Running, hiking, things like that, get a Garmin watch. Functional fitness, my CrossFitters, my Olympic weightlifters, my powerlifters, get yourself a Fitbit or a whoop strap, especially if you're in a community-based setting, get the whoop strap, get that subscription. I think it's worth it, especially for the sleep performance and recovery performance. Huge, 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 I just can't get, I mean, yeah, the subscription sucks, but that's huge data that you don't get with anything else. And then as far as chest straps, if you get any kind of chest strap of any sort, I don't know, just don't wear it. That's what I would say, so that's it. Comment down below, tear me up in the comment section below, tell me you're an idiot, 
and uh, <laughs> stop doing Stairmaster, you're skinny and frail. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. At least hopefully it was entertaining. If it was, please like it up. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, for all my OGs and all my subscribers, we are going to Jamaica in like five days. I cannot wait. I got a laptop. I got a GoPro. I got all the tools to film a bunch of videos. So stay tuned for a lot of Jamaica content. Um, I'm going to upload while we're there. Days of eating, days of drinking, days of... Um, uh, excursions, uh, days of training, just literally we're going to do everything. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. I'll see you guys in a couple days probably. See you in the next video. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to see you there. That is it for today. Ramble Jamble. I'm done. That's it. Peace out. Bye.